Hey, hi friends. Welcome to this brand new part, part 11. This part is for all the subscribers and non-subscribers as well. Now, if you are wondering where are parts 9 and 10, or in fact, even 8, 9 and 10, they are all in the members group. You can click the join button. I have put it in the description and you can become a cloud kernel or a cloud ninja member, which will give you access to all of those questions. You can also click and become a member by clicking the join button below this video as well. If you have not become a subscriber yet, please do so. You can stay tuned to so much of informative content around cloud certifications. If you are not subscribing, you are really missing on cloud certifications. See, you have to do cloud certification if you are primarily working in the IT field because that is the trend. Otherwise, your job will very soon become obsolete. You need to understand hybrid cloud, multi cloud, and the cloud strategy. Now, let us jump into the questions. Question 35. See, if you have uh, multiple EC2 instances, this guy and this guy is scanning other EC2 instances, then it is a problem boss. Some bad players have come in. Now, the problem is not that. The problem is they are still creating this application and testing it. If they are in the test phase, they are constantly getting alerts and it is a problem. Why? Because they are getting fed up and frustrated with so many alerts. What to do? How to solve this? They want to suppress alerts now because they are still in the testing phase. See, the first option is telling that you filter in the cloud trail because cloud trail is just the log after cloud watch. Here, the watch is alerting. The, the logs are created, but here we are not talking about cloud trail. We are talking only about cloud watch logs. And hence, A is wrong. Now, this is uh, very glaringly it's wrong. Option C, it is telling we will install inspector agent. What does inspector agent does? It will collect the information. It will collect the install package information for EC2 instances. But how will that resolve the alert problem? The alerts are being sent by CloudWatch and you are planning to put inspector on EC2 instances. That will not solve it. Inspector will only capture this information and send it. What? Uh, but that will not tell you that, hey, you know, this, this EC2 instance is good. The scan is happening. It is good or bad. It will not tell you that. Now, option D is saying that we will grant uh, the security teams EC2 instances. Like this EC2 instances, we will grant role to call AP, uh, guard duty API operations. So this will not work because see, first thing is this is trying to access this and this and then the alert is getting generated. So you have to tell these guys, hey, you know what? This IP is okay. It is okay. <clears throat> That's why B is correct because what it will do is it will add the elastic IP to the EC2 instance. To this EC2 instance, uh, it will add the elastic IP and then it will tell that this is the trusted IP now. So if it is trusted IP, then alerts will not be sent. So if you see a guy who has taken people hostage and uh, a negotiator comes, so what does a negotiator do? He says that, hey, I am one of you. I am going to help you here. I am not against you. I am not your enemy. That is the same thing you will do here. You will add the elastic IP address in the trusted list so that you will tell, hey, you know what? I am one of you. You don't worry. See, if you look at this question now, this question is talking about there is a financial institution just like Bank of America or well, Fargo, etc. So they want, they will have a separate domain, okay? Separate domain for cloud-based users and cloud users cannot access on-premises system. I repeat, cloud users cannot access on-prem systems. Now, see, this this is your on-prem and this is your AWS. On AWS, you have a database that uh, that is like here, managed databases. You have your EC2 instances, okay? This is all on your cloud. You have EC2 instances. And then you have Active Directory services that is on premises. So here you have Active Directory services and it has all admin accounts and these must be able to access the databases. That means these accounts should be able to access these databases. They should be able to access these instances also. Now we want to do it in the most secure manner. This is the keyword most secured manner and we want to choose two answers. Okay. So let us scan the first one. See now our question never told that is there an AD here on cloud? So that is the first thing we will need. We will need to put a managed AD to manage the cloud resources first thing. Because under this scenario, whenever we have these kind of hybrid cloud scenario, this is hybrid cloud, right? Because you have on-premises, you have cloud, you have on-premises and you have cloud. This is hybrid cloud. What is multi-cloud? You have AWS, you have Azure, you have AWS, you have GCP also. These are different cloud platforms. That's why it is called multi-cloud. So what is the problem with multi-cloud? If I have, suppose, AWS Redshift and I want to access it from Azure, that is 
why multi cloud comes into play how will two cloud environments how will resources in the two cloud environments talk to each other see option b option b is saying we will put one more active directory see this guy already has an active directory you will put one more there what is the advantage you want to put a active directory on cloud not again here itself so this is totally wrong the other thing we look at the keyword that the cloud users should not access on premises so the true way trust will not be required because why do you need two way trust because the people here can access these on cloud the cloud users here can access resources on prem but you don't want to do that this requirement is clearly saying boss don't do that that is why e is wrong so at this point we are here and let us look at these two options c and d are confusing and people get confused a lot so let me clarify this c looks wrong why i will take you to this documentation and in this documentation if you see this you read this pause this and read this what happens is it is saying a trust relationship is a link between two domains so one domain that is a trusting domain what is the trusting domain here in our case the on prem is the trusting domain you have you have on prem you have cloud on prem is the trusting domain you know as per option c i'm telling if if existing active directory so existing ad is is on prem ad on prem already has a ad so if existing ad is on prem this becomes uh, this becomes the trusting domain and it trusts another domain that is a trusted domain then user accounts from the trusted domain that is a cloud environment can access resources in the on prem but here it clearly says boss cloud based users should not access any on prem systems so that is why c is wrong that means we only have d d is the correct answer so these two are my final answers now let us quickly look at the next question here just a reminder parts 8 9 and 10 are in the members group please click the join button in the description of this video or just below the video you will find a join button click that and go for a cloud kernel or a cloud ninja member cloud kernel will give you access to basic and intermediate certifications cloud ninja will give you access to all three advanced basic as well as intermediate advanced means something like aws solution architect professional aws data analytics and so on so let's jump back to this question now see a security alert has been raised okay like in your apartment complex if an intruder gets in you will get an alert and people will say hey you know what there is a intruder inside and he or she is roaming in some building same thing in terms of it here it has happened a security alert has been raised on a ec2 instance and in a customer account okay and that is exhibiting strange behavior what is strange behavior so looking at the behavior they seem like okay a guy entered and then he is like looking into that building this apartment that apartment he is monitoring someone so it is suspicious now the security engineer uh, must first isolate the ec2 instance and then use tools for further investigation so what should a security engineer used to isolate and research See, we have to research this event okay so what will the first thing you will do if if somebody is a watchman or a security guard he or she will first go and look into the log is there an entry is there an entry that this person got in what is the, this person's name what is this person's phone number etc so what is that that is a log so we will do the same thing here cloud trail we will look at the logs it has all user activities and api usage details so cloud trail would be my first answer let's look at athena athena is used for analytics fire queries on a petabyte scale on s3 you have so many files what will you do by looking at athena nothing athena will tell you nothing the third thing is kms kms is used for encryption key management system kms is not something which we will have to look at because see kms is absolutely safe absolutely safe if someone says in a bank an intruder gets in so will you go and check your base locker where where the bank people are keeping all the money no they will not you will not check that first immediately that is you know there are security security guards there it has so many passwords four or five layers of entry passwords so it is absolutely safe we will not worry about kms but we will definitely look at the network logs vpc flow logs it will give me the network logs because it captures information about ip traffic incoming and outgoing sorry incoming and outgoing that is my answer first and then here we are talking about option e is telling firewall manager it is talking about firewall rules here firewall rules is may not be in question and we may not need to inspect that first so this is wrong security groups yes we may 
why because we will if we have to inspect it we will uh, deny access to all uh, the people who are accessing it accessing the ec2 instance it means ec2 instance why i am saying ec2 instance because the question says that my friend the question says that so we will go to the ec2 instance and we will ensure that all connections are uh, outgoing and incoming connections are stopped so we will go and look at the security groups who had access which were the whitelisted ips and etc or whatever we will look at that so that people so that people who were already accessing it it gets stopped for them or if that ec2 instance was up to something hacking or something or scanning some other ec2 instances that will stop these are my three answers now friends if you have not yet subscribed this is your opportunity please subscribe and become a member as well subscriptions will ensure that you get timely alerts on all the cloud certification contents around aws cloud google cloud that is gcp and azure plus we are posting tons of contents around snowflake as well this channel is totally dedicated to certifications this brings us to the end of part 11 for parts 8 9 and 10 please become a member click the join button and opt for a cloud kernel or a cloud ninja membership stay tuned see you in the next part